What is going on YouTube? This is Peter from Gateway City Pipers coming at you on a very cold Thursday night here in St. Louis. That is why I am uh, bundled up to the nines and look a little bit goofy with my uh, whatever you call these hats. But I'm warm. Uh, rocking the space heater out in my garage and it's all good. The purpose of this video is my top three tobaccos of 2014. Uh, I hope you guys all had a wonderful 2014 and a, a great New Year's. Hope you stayed safe and had a good time. Um, before I get into my top three tobacco companies of 2014, I need to shout out a couple people. Um, Haunted Take 75 was the first person I saw do this video. Um, so shout out to him because this is an awesome idea I don't know if it was yours you got it from somewhere else but I think this is a really cool idea and then I actually saw a Jules video first then I watched Haunted Tanks um, but Jules Virginia, Virginia's for Lovers um, he did a video response to Haunted Take 75 um, and did his top three tobaccos so shout out to those two guys for doing this Haunted Take for getting it started and uh, Jules for um, chiming in and offering his opinions on uh, this awesome subject. I really enjoyed both of those videos. Um, so without further ado, or do, let's get into this. Um, my number three on my list would be Strauss Tobacconist. Um, Strauss is just a super super solid brick and mortar. Um, I'm actually smoking blue chip right now in my cob, which I'm really really liking. Strauss offers some great aromatics. I'm not a big aromatic guy, and I sort of exclusively smoke their aromatics and I'm another company I'm going to mention here in a minute because they're very good. They are not sacrificing any tobacco quality um, for just a heavy, nasty casing. It's always a very tasteful casing with quality tobacco. Um, so yeah, and they also have one of probably what is my favorite Balkan and English blend of 2014, and that would be Union Terminal, um, which we put up a review on. If you're interested in that, you can go check that out. Uh, these guys are incredibly friendly. The people who use them as their local brick and mortar um, only have positive things to say. They sort of opened their doors to uh, the Cincinnati Area Pipe Society and all those folks who do that. So it's just awesome things going on there. So go check those guys out. Second on my list is uh, Boswell's. Boswell's makes some amazing pipes. Um, I have one of their pipes, and it is probably one of my best smoking pipes. The draw on that mug is just phenomenal. It is, it just can't be beat, and it looks great. So, you gotta get one of their pipes if you don't have it yet. It's just a must-have uh, for anyone who enjoys pipes. And in regards to their tobacco blends, they are the other company that I mentioned that I do really, really enjoy their aromatics. Um, Bear Blend, Sweet Tea, Chocolate Cream, all of those are just very solid aromatics. You know, I'm not sacrificing um, taste and quality so I can smoke around other people and make it pleasant for them. That just doesn't happen at uh, with Strauss Blends or Boswell's Blends. And uh, many people go and meet up at Boswell's for pipe meetups, stuff like that. So they're also, you know, a supporter of the community in regards to opening their doors and their friendliness. Um, both Strauss and Boswell's, you have to call to make an order. So uh, go give them a call if you haven't. Go check them out. My lighter's almost out of fluid here. Um, number one on my list would be the same one as a Haunted Take 75 and Virginia's for Lovers. And that's because great minds think alike and we both have, I mean we all have amazing taste. Um, so my number one is McClellan's uh, tobacco. And uh, McClellan 
they just don't have a bad blend out there. I, I, I I've never had a bad blend from them. I can't think of one. Uh, the Frog Morton line is amazing. My favorite from that line is Frog Morton on the Bayou. And although each of them do have some similarities, uh, they are profoundly different in their each unique way. Everything from that line is. And just, I think, one of the best lines in the tobacco world. I, I really do believe that. Um, the Virginias. They have a very sort of... Uh, unique and signature Virginia. It's that red, ketchupy, um, darker Virginia. Well, that's generally what it is, which I love. Like a Blackwoods Flake, it's super good. Um, that's probably one of my favorite Virginias. And the list just goes on and on. You have Blue Mountain, which is now Balkan Blue. It's just great. Um, I, they're just very, very good. They're out of Kansas City. You can pick up their blends really anywhere that sells tobacco generally has them. And I lived in the Kansas City area for a brief period of time and it was just awesome to be that close to them because every brick and mortar you went to had, you know, their best stuff just stocked, you know. And most places do, but just to have basically every blend, you know, that they have in one place is pretty awesome. So there you have it, guys. That is uh, my top three tobacco companies of 2014. 2014 was a pretty cool year for both Chris and I getting involved in the YouTube pipe community. And, um, yeah, definitely a highlight of the year for us. <clears throat> Thanks for everyone who entered our 250 sub contest. Uh, Chris and I are planning on getting together on Tuesday to uh, do that drawing. So if you're looking out for that, that's when that will happen, um, unless things change, which they might, but that's the plan so far. So thanks for all the love, guys. Once again, hope you all had a great 2014. I wish you a incredible 2015. And uh, this is Peter from Gateway City Pipers coming at you. Remember to smoke them cool.